Howdy, welcome back. What I'm going to do in this video is talk about four different approaches to ethics. And I'll tell you up front, I can see the positives and negatives of all four. I'm going to avoid using any company examples in this because we're gonna talk about social responsibility in a later video. So here we're just, I'm gonna to try to focus on ethics and decisions that people make and how you can approach your decision making, okay? So the first step is what's called the utilitarian rule. Utilitarian rule is the idea that what does the greatest good for the greatest number of people is the right thing to do. So uh, in terms of business, it's saying managers compare and contrast alternative courses of action based on the benefits and costs of alternative different stake stakeholder groups. Look, but that's honestly not an easy definition. The easier definition of the utilitarian rule is something from, a t from a, the series Star Trek that I, that I grew up loving as a child. And in Star Trek II, um, Spock, the character I love in the show, used the quote, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. That's basically what the utilitarian rule is saying. It's, if, it, if it helps more people, then that's what we should do. If it helps fewer people, you know, that's the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. But in the business world, this is difficult because, for example, managers may face a choice of use, losing global outsourcing to reduce costs and lower prices or continue with high cost production at home. So what, what this means in easy English, um, in my country, some companies in the United States, many companies have chosen to move their production out of the United States. Okay. So that helps customers because they're able to move production to lower cost countries. And by doing that, they're able to perhaps lower the price of their goods and be more competitive. But in the meanwhile, there are people who lose their jobs. So if you value, if, if, if you're, if I'm, I don't want to get into social responsibility here, but in terms of ethics, you can, you can argue that the greater number of people are helped by having it produced by low cost, low wage countries, but you can also argue that it hurts people within your country. So is utilitarian, is, is, is outsourcing, global outsourcing a good thing? And again, I don't think utilitarian necessarily answers this. So for utilitarian, remember Spock's words, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. The justice rule says you need to do things in a fair, equitable, impartial way, which means you treat everyone exactly the same. It says you should, no matter, you should treat people the same no matter what their background is. Um, this would be closest to uh, uh, Max Weber's view that you need to be fair. As long as you're fair and treat everyone the same, that's all that matters. So even if, even if in being fair, it hurts some people that you love, you've, you've just got to be fair, period. Um, I have to say, uh, stock, Star Trek never answers if Spock would be more in favor of this or the utilitarian rule. So I, I you know, I think I could see Spock being, because what you need to know about Spock is Spock is a guy who believes in pure logic. And so is pure logic the utilitarian rule or is pure logic the justice rule? And Star Trek never answered that question and I certainly cannot answer that question. The moral rights rule is next up. In the moral rights rule, the moral rights rule says that sometimes you have to be willing to do things that are the right thing to do, even if it's going to cost more money, even if it's, even if it's, you, you just, you have to do it because it is the right thing to do. In today's world, I think this can be summarized by what, how companies are reacting to COVID, okay? Even if providing with employees with masks and putting up protective barriers 
even if that costs us money and hurts our profits, this is what we have to do because it is morally correct. It is the ethical thing to do. Okay, that's the moral rights rule. In, again, because I keep like, liking to quote Star Trek, in Star Trek 4, Spock's mommy says, sometimes the needs of the one outweigh the needs of the many. Okay, and she was saying this because Spock's friends had risked everything. They risked their careers, their lives, they risked everything to save him. And so she's making the quote, Spock's mom is making the quote to Spock, that sometimes the needs of the one, Spock, outweighed the needs of the many. Understand that? So in, in non-Star Trek terms, even if, um, even if this will harm me, I'm willing to accept it because it is the right thing to do. It is the moral thing to do. It is the ethical thing to do. Um, you know, my sister donated a kidney. And, you know, you can, you can argue she donated a kidney to somebody that she knows but not close to, not super close to. So she's endangering her own life to help somebody else. This is what the moral rights rule says is the right thing to do. The last one, the practical rule. The practical rule is, uh, I'm, I will read this to you. A decision that a manager has no hesitation communicating to people outside the company because a typical person would think that is acceptable. A manager can assume that a decision is ethical if he or she can answer yes to the following three questions. Does the decision follow within accepted values, norms, or standards that typically apply in the organizational environment? Am I willing to see, oops, am I willing to see the decision communicated to all stakeholders, um, to all stakeholders affected by it? For example, by having it reported in newspapers or on television, would the people with whom I have a significant relationship, such as family members, friends, or even managers in other organizations approve of the decision? Applying the practical rule to analyze a business decision ensures that managers are taking into account the interests of all stakeholders. After applying this rule, managers can judge if they have chosen to act in an ethical or unethical way. Now, my way of summarizing that in an easier to understand is that the practical rule is, are you comfortable if your grandmother knows you're doing it? Are you comfortable with what you're doing if the, the if your grandmother, I, I, I just, I, I often, you know, I don't, my grandparents have, have died a long time ago, but I, I often use this in my, in guiding my decisions. So the practical rule is probably closest to my definition of ethics. Doing the right thing when nobody is watching. So I have to reiterate, I have to make this point as clear as I can, that of the four rules, I, I don't know which one is the best. And so because I can't decide on one, two, or three, I go with the practical rule and think to myself, because um, I, I, I had a grandmother I dearly loved, and I think to myself, when I make a decision, is this something that my grandmother would approve of what I'm doing? And so that's the closest to the practical rule, and that's where I've settled on, but I fully understand the other three rules and what's good and bad about them. And uh, I, I, I would love to debate with somebody what is the best of the other three, because, yeah. Anyhow, that's it. I'm going to put a link to what's called the, the trolley dilemma. And the trolley dilemma is quite simply this. If you, if I'm gonna, I'm gonna just link the video and you can see it. And this, and, and I, this is from a TV show called The Good Place. And it's an excellent TV show. And 
if you find this stuff interesting, I, if you find the video I'm linking to interesting, I hope you have Netflix and start watching the show because it is, it is a fascinating show. Um, anyhow, for this video, that's it. I appreciate you taking the time to pay attention and uh, watch the trolley problem.